Okay, so we're doing a homework on loci. This uses a lot of the things that we looked at in the previous one on uh, bisections, um, and it applies it into different situations where you're asked to either shade uh, different regions that satisfy certain conditions, or where you're asked to track the movement of a point. So we'll look at a few different examples. This first question, it says, to shade the region that satisfies all of the following conditions. So we've got three conditions given to us. The first is that the distance from the line AD, this line here, is greater than the distance from the line DC. So that's this line here. So we need to shade a region that's going to be closer to this line DC than the distance from AD. So we're looking at two lines where we have to find uh, a halfway point so that we can shade all the, all the points, um, the one side of that line, so that the distance is greater from AD than it is from DC. So whenever we're bisecting um, two lines, we're finding the halfway point is bisection of an angle, which we looked at in the previous homework. So to do this, the point that is in common between AD and DC is the point D. So that's where our compass is going to go. So we put our compass on the point D as so, and we extend our pencil to any point on the line. We're going to make a marker on the line AD, and keeping our compass at the same point, we're going to put another marker on the line DC. Don't change uh, the distance between your compass and your pencil. We're going to put the compass point on these two points, and we're going to make another locus just here, and another one here. So we've got two arcs that cross each other. Now then, this is providing the bisection for our angle. So we get our ruler, we go from the point D through the cross, extend it all the way through the shape. Now then, the condition was that the distance from the line AD has got to be more than the distance from the line DC. So the points that we're going to end up shading are going to be to the right-hand side of this line, not the left. But we've got more conditions to satisfy, so we can't shade the region yet. The second condition is that the distance from D is less than the distance from C. So we're just talking about two points now. And so the distance from D is less than the distance from C. So we need to find the halfway point between these two. Now you'll notice that there's a line that goes straight between them. And we know how to bisect the line and find the halfway point. So we're going to get our compass, we're going to start at D, and we need to make sure that we extend it past the halfway point of the line. We're going to draw an arc that goes through that line. Doesn't matter how long your arc is. What's important is that we've got two arcs that cross. So we're going to keep our compass at the same distance and put it at point C. And we're going to draw a second arc that will cross through our first arc in two places. Now then, the last thing that we need to do in order to bisect that line is we need to draw a line through those two crossover points and make sure it goes through the entire shape. So the condition said that the distance from D is less than the distance from C. So the shaded region is going to be this side of the line that we've just drawn. So we've narrowed it down now so that it's in this triangular shape here. But we've got one final condition that we have to meet. And that is that the distance from A is less than seven centimeters. So at this point, we need to get our ruler out. We need to make sure that our compass is extended to seven centimeters. So find seven on your ruler, make sure that the compass of the pencil is extended seven centimeters like so. Now then, it's said that it's seven centimeters, it's less than seven centimeters from A. So we look at point A, which is up in this top left corner. We put our compass there, and we're just going to draw an arc that goes all the way through the shape, tracking the distance that's seven centimeters in all of it. Now it says that it's less than seven centimeters, so it's got to be everything that's within this arc closest to A. So we've narrowed our shape down now, and we can shade the region which satisfies those three conditions. The first condition was that it was closer to DC, so it's got to be this side of this diagonal line that we've drawn. 
The second one was that it was closer to D than to C, so it's got to be the left-hand side of this straight line. And then the third is that it's within seven centimeters of A, so that's this arc that we've just drawn last here. So the region that we need to shade is going to be everything from this corner, stay in the left-hand side of that line and staying within that arc and not going past that diagonal that we've drawn. It's going to be everything in that region there. And you've completed the question. Okay, the second kind of question that you're going to come across could be a triangle, could be a different shape, but it asks us to shade the region inside the shape that is greater than five centimeters from B in the triangle ABC. So we need to get our compass and our ruler. Now then, this time we're looking at a distance of five centimeters. So we're going to extend our compass so that it is five centimeters from point to pencil. And the point that we are measuring from is from B. So everything that is more than five centimeters from B in this triangle we need to shade. So if we draw the line using our compass now through the shape that is five centimeters, that's that line there. So all of those points on that arc are five centimeters from B. So everything greater than five centimeters <coughs> is gonna be this whole region of the triangle here. So you can just shade in this entire region like so. The third kind of question that you might come across is something like the following. So it's given us a diagram of a building and it says that the building is alarmed so that security will be alerted should anyone walk within two meters of its perimeter. Perimeter obviously is distance around the outside of a shape. Using a scale of one centimeter to every meter, shade this secured region. Okay, so we've got two things involved. The first is that we're using scale. Now then, it asks us to use a scale of one centimeter to every meter. So one centimeter is worth one meter. Now then, it's said that the building would be alarmed if anyone walks within two meters. So what we've done is we've multiplied that by two. So the scale that we need to use now is two centimeters for the two meters. Now then, two meters away from the straight lines is easy. We just get our ruler. We can use our scale for two centimeters and we just find the point from the corner there that is two centimeters away. Do the same on the other corner. And we can draw a straight line between those points that is two centimeters away from the perimeter. We can do that for each edge, but the problem area is going to be this corner point here because the two meter line isn't going to be a straight line. It's going to move. So we'll finish filling in all these straight edges. So we draw a point that's two centimeters away there. Another one from this corner, just two centimeters. And we can draw a straight line for that one. Same on the bottom side of the building. and the same on the left-hand side. Okay, so we've got four lines that show the points that are two meters around the building. Now then, the last thing that we need to do is to get our compass Make sure that it's at the distance of two centimeters from point to pencil and join up these corner points. So your lines should connect. So we're going to put the compass point on that corner and we're going to follow it from that line around to the next, like so. Same on each corner. So we're going to put the point on the corner and follow it from one line to the next all the way around like so. Same on this bottom edge. Following it all around. Make sure your compass doesn't slip.
and the same on the last one. Okay, now then, we need to make sure we've answered the question. It's asked us to shade the region. So we're just going to shade in that region all the way around the outside to make sure that we're showing which area will set off the alarm. Last question we're going to look at is talking about the movement of a point. So this time it said that a point moves so that it's always an equal distance from two fixed points A and B. So we're looking for the movement of the point so that it's always the same distance from A and B. What we're doing is we're finding the halfway point between A and B and there's going to be a line that goes straight through the middle that is always the same distance from both. Now the way that we do that is we pretend that there is a line between A and B. If there was a line there and we wanted to find the halfway point, we would just bisect that line. So we don't need to draw the line in. We simply need to put our compass at one of the points, make sure that it's extended past halfway, and draw an arc. We're going to do the same at point A, keeping the compass the same distance. We're going to put the compass at point A, and we're going to draw a second arc, like so. And where those two points cross, those two arcs cross, we're going to draw a straight line with our ruler that goes through the middle. And this shows the locus, the movement of that point, so it's always exactly the same distance from A and B. And we're done.